in the previous case we have used a monochromatic source of light that means the source emits only a single wavelength and we made a diffraction pattern at the center we get centralized to maximum and on both sides of the centralized to maximum we get first order as well as second order now let us see what happens when you make use of a white light instead of a monochromatic light as you already know white light consists of all colors beginning from violet to red so it is clear that the angle of diffraction depends on the wavelength of light used in the white light there are different colors for different colors means different wavelengths so the different colors will have different values of diffraction so for different colors the angle of diffraction will be different and hence when white light is used as a source on diffraction the colors will be separated that means at one point there will be focusing of violet light at a different angle a different color will get focused so all the colors will get separated and we get a spectrum of all colors present in the light